Lesson 12 of Harper's Introductory Hebrew Method. Yish Ritsu. Here we have our first vowel, and here's our second vowel. So one syllable, Yish Ritsu. They shall swarm. Yish Ritsu. This is Kal, and it's the imperfect tense. Some grammar books call it the future tense. Um, generally speaking, the imperfect carries future meaning in Biblical Hebrew, um, but grammarians prefer to call it the imperfect. And if you look at the Aramaic course, um, you'll find the same thing. It's called the imperfect tense, even though generally speaking the action referred to that's incomplete or imperfect is an action that's going to take place in the future. Third person plural masculine. Yish Ritsu, they shall swarm. From Sharatz, he swarmed. Sharatz. Yish Rots, he will swarm. Yish Rots. Yish Ritsu, they will swarm. Yish Ritsu. There are two Shoas here. The first is the syllable divider, this one here. And the second um, is the half vowel starting off the second syllable. Uh, Ritsu. In the Spanish and Portuguese pronunciation, this is slightly more pronounced than it, it is um, in the Ashkenazi. Yish Ritsu. The imperfect tense represents an action as unfinished, incomplete, whether in past, present, or future time. So, usually, future, but sometimes not, depending on the context. Sheretz, swarm, or collectively, swarms. And the accents here, like Nereb, Neretz, Deshe, Zerang. These nouns have got one essential vowel, and the second vowel is inserted for euphony, for making it sound better. They are called segalates because they're segol and segol, and the accent goes on to the first syllable. Nereb, Nereds, Deshe, and Zerang. The essential vowel in all these cases was originally patah. But what's happened is that tones increased um, to E. Nefesh. Nefesh. Soul of. This is another one of these. Um, the primary form was Nafesh. Nafesh. And the primary form of Zerang. Viz. Zarang, Zarang, and this appears before the suffix. We put a suffix on the end. Um, zarango, Zarango. You don't need to pay too much attention to this etymological information unless you plan to be writing Biblical Hebrew. Chaya, Chaya, life. It's feminine, which is shown by the ah ending. Chaya. Note the dagesh here. Chaya. Vengof. Vengof. And fowl. That's um, flying creatures. Vengof. The vav conjunctive here is regular with the schwa. No surprises. Naturally long o. And the final form of the letter p here. Remember that this is the hanging form, and you have the curled-in form in the middle of a word, as you see here. This is the curled-in form. If this was to become, if this curled limb here were to become limp, it would suddenly hang down straight, as it does here. And this is the final form. Yengo fif, yengo fif, he will fly. Yengo fif. 
So here we have an imperfect or future from the root ruf, ruf to fly. And both of the fifth sounds here are aspirated, they don't have a dagesh. Yengo fif. Vai yibra. Vai yibra. And he created. Vai yibra. We have a, um, a vowel here, a vowel here, and a vowel here. Vai yibra. And he created. So yibra, he will create. Yibra. But with the vav, with the dagish, the force of a tense is changed. Vayibra. Compare with kara, vayikra, bara, vayibra. Hat tan ninim. Notice here, hat tan ninim. So we have two sharp um, letters here. Hat tan ninim. So the points in the taf and the nun are dagesh forte. Both instances, they have a vowel in front of them. This vowel here is in front of that one, and this vowel is in front of that one. The sound e and the nun is written defectively. The article. Ha, with the dagesh, which you see here, ha, and the noun is tanin, tanin. The plural ending is im, so tanninim, and then hat tanninim. Kol nefesh, kol nefesh, every soul of. Kol is an unaccented closed syllable. The Because it is joined together, the accent is here. This syllable is closed, unaccented. And uh, this is because the word before, the makif, always loses its accent. An unaccented closed syllable, as we saw before, must have a short vowel. So this is not the long ah uh, sound. It looks like it, but it isn't. It's a short vowel. And this vowel here, when it is short, has the sound O, oh, not A. Ah. So, it looks like A, ah, but it is not. This is the Kametz Hatuf. And it's a source of much uh, difficulty to beginning readers of Hebrew because you have to look out for these closed, unaccented syllables. Usually they are at the beginning, but sometimes they can be at the end of words as well, especially when the accent is shifted back to the um, penultimate. Um, for example, if you had the Kametz Hatuf here, this would be O oh as well, because it would be closed, unaccented, because the accent is here. So it's Kol Nefesh. Kol Nefesh. This word when it stands by itself, is pronounced kal, kal. But when it's joined in, like this, and loses its accent, it becomes kol. Short o, oh, kol. As opposed to kal. Ha, ya, the life. Here we have a half vowel. It's got an accent on it. And here we have a dagesh forte. ya. The article with the Dagesh Forte, remember, is um, understood to be there, even though it's not. And so this is a syllable by itself, even though it's a short vowel. Ha, chay, ya. Ha, ro, me. And then, shet. This is an accented syllable, and so because it has the accent, it can be short, just like we have an accent here as well, um, and so it's short with an accent. Short, open, requires an accent. So, ha, ro, 
Mehshet. Haro Mehshet. The one that creeps, the creeping one. The article with the Dagish Forte is not possible here because of a R. Um, but the Patach is increased to a long vowel. Ah, ha ro meshet. A participle, although it doesn't have the m, which is the equivalent of the English ing at the end of a word, it's feminine, ending in t, and it's singular, and it's from the word ramash, ramash. Observe that this letter here is o haro meshet, even though it's defective. So it doesn't have the vowel, the, the vav here underneath it. Sha ritsu, sha ritsu, one vowel, the next full vowel. So this is the first syllable here. Sha and then ritsu. They swarmed. Sha ritsu. He swarmed. Sha rats, sha rats. They swarmed. Sha ritsu, sha ritsu. Compare this with Yish Rots. Yish Rots. He will swarm. Yish Rots. Sha Ritsu. They swarmed. Yish Ritsu. They will swarm. Yish Ritsu. And so we have Bara. He created. Bara. Baru. They created. Baru. Kara. He called. Kara. Ka ra'u, they called. Ka ra'u. Na tan, na tan, he gave. Na tanu, na tanu, they gave. The kal, in the perfect, that's the past, third person masculine plural is shown by the ending u. U. They swarmed. Sha ritsu, here's the u ending. That's the third person masculine plural ending of the perfect. Limi ne him. Look at our syllabication. Our first vowel is here. Limi, and it's accented. Ne, long vowel, open. Him, short vowel, closed. Limi ne him. To their kinds. Him at the end here is a pronominal suffix um, giving us the idea of um, their third person masculine plural so and it's used with plural nouns le mi ne him and here the e is defective for writing it with a vowel which would be the plural Construct ending. Kanaf, kanaf, a wing. Kanaf. The first is ah before it's before the tone, and the second is ah because it's under the tone. Kanaf. The construct singular would be kanaf. Kenaf, the dual would be kena fayim, kena fayim. Some notes: the imperfect kal, which is the um, for our rule of thumb, it's the future, has a preformative in the third person masculine. This is the letter yud, written with e. In forming the plural of the Kal perfect, the vowel of a second radical becomes E. On the addition of U in the imperfect, as well as in the perfect, the vowel of a second radical also becomes this, this E, the half vowel. The feminine ending T often has before it an unaccented segol E inserted to make it sound better. 
The article is ha with a dagish forte doubling the following letter. So while hit and also he take the dagish forte by implication, in other words, the patach remains, resh and ngayin and aleph reject it, and so to make the syllable long, the vowel is lengthened to make the syllable heavy. Vocabulary ya ya kol kol kanaf kanaf nefesh nefesh ngof 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 ramash ramash sheretz sheretz Tan nin, tan nin.